What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video for Revit 2024 for structural design. So we are going to create grids. So last video we have learned how to create levels. So this time we're going to create grids. So as you can see in this uh, project, AutoCAD drawing is already imported. So if I click the AutoCAD drawing, so you can see that it's an AutoCAD drawing. Okay, so it's just an imported drawing in Revit. So we will be using our AutoCAD drawing as a guide for our grids. Okay, so let's create our grids. So the grid tool can be found on Architecture tab, Datum, Grid. Okay, so the shortcut there is GR. So I'm going to select this one. And then, so you are now on the sketch mode. So we have the line tool, the arc mode, Sir, center ends arc and then the pick lines which is what I'm going to use so I'm not going to use the line tool I'll just use the pick lines tool because I'm just going to pick my uh, grids okay so pick lines there you go and then I'm going to pick this one here starting to my grid one so I click this there you go I click and then I click another point here, this one. So I'm going to modify that one. So instead of number two, I'm going to click that. I'm going to follow the grid on my AutoCAD drawing, which is 1.1. Uh, Enter. There you go. And then while the grid is still activated, so I'm going to pick two. Click, change that one to two. Enter. And then let's click this. So that's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So our grid is still activated. So I'm going to click letter A here. So let's click that. So let's change this. Let's change that to A. Click outside. And then grid is still active. So let's click B. C, D, E, F, F.1. So let's change that one to F.1. Click outside. And then G. So let's change that to G. Click outside. H, I, J. There you go. And then let's just select here, modify to terminate the tool. So that's it. So we just created now our grids. So what I'm going to do is I'm go I'm just going to add, uh, adjust my grids here. Because as you can see, my grid here is not extended. So I will click the grid, click that 3D. And then I'm going to align that to the other end here like that. Okay, so let's click that and then I'll be using this add elbow here if you want if there are if there's an instance wherein another grid is overlapping another grid because they are too close so you can select that one if you want to create an elbow like that okay but since there's no overlapping grid so I'll just make that straight Okay, so let me just click this as well, and then let's drag it up. There you go, and then I'll select here, modify. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select also my grid A, and then I will adjust that all the way here, like that. Same. Okay, so this one, so we are just tidying up our grids. Click that. There you go. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to click one of the grid and then modify the type properties. I want both end of my grid. I want the symbol to be placed at both end. So I'll just tick this and then I'll select OK. And there you go. So as you can see, they now have the grid bubble okay 
Now the next is I'm going to make my my AutoCAD drawing uh, half tone. So let's open up the visibility graphic overrides, or you can type VV or VG. Victor Victor, and then let's go to annotation. Oh, I mean on the imported categories. There's the AutoCAD drawing that we imported, so I'm just gonna make that half tone. Okay, and then I'll select here. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, my AutoCAD drawing is now half tone. So if I only want to see the grids of my Revit, I do not want to see the grids of my AutoCAD drawing. So you need to open up again your visibility graphic overrides. You go to the imported categories, you expand that, and then you look for grids that one uncheck that layer and then select okay all right so that it's more tidier okay and then for your auto drawing just make sure you pin that so that you do not move it accidentally okay and then just select modify all right so there you go so we just created our grids Okay, so thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.